students from Einstein, Bishop Ayrton, and Loudoun Valley High School meet today on It's Academic. everybody, I'm Hillary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic, produced by Altman Productions in association with David M. Rubenstein Productions. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. The world is full of challenges. And at MITRE, we're committed to solving them. From aviation, health, to cyber, in national security, our people know we are called to do more. MITRE, solving problems for a safer world. And now it is time to meet the teams. We start with Einstein High School from Kensington, Maryland. Ben, Kira, Eddie, welcome to It's Academic. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, it's good to have you. From Bishop Ireton in Alexandria, Virginia, Daniel Newman, Dallas. Thanks for being here. Hi. 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 And from Loudoun Valley High School in Purcellville, Virginia, Clay, Sarah, Charlie, great to see you here. Great, great to see you. Thank you. Okay, as you already know, in this opening round, questions are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer, which is awesome. Einstein, you are up first. Let's do this. Here's your first question. A perplexing tone. Hidden in this phrase is the name of what historic Massachusetts town near Concord that was the site of an early Revolutionary War battle? Lexington. Lexington, Lexington yeah. Lexington. Lexington is it. A phony doctor, sound a duck makes. What same word will satisfy both these definitions? Conferring. Quack. Quack? Mm-hmm. Quack. Quack. Yes. Stage. Please rearrange the letters in the word stage and you'll get the last name of what philanthropist, the former CEO of Microsoft? Uh, Gates. Gates. Bill Gates is Gates. right. Pericles, Tamerlane, Ramses. Which of these powerful rulers was a pharaoh in Egypt? Conferring Ramses. Yes. Ramses. Ramses it is. Most of a writer's basic material is acquired before the age of, to complete this quote from one writer, at what age, three years less than the minimum federal voting age? In 15. 15. Yeah. 15 is right. Einstein, out of the gate, you got them all. 200 points. Okay, Bishop Ireton, you are up. Here's your first question. Clamor seems loud loud or soft, you can find here the hidden name of what American inventor who developed the telegraph and a telegraphic code? Uh, Samuel Morse. Oh, confirm. Morse. Yeah, that's it. A coconut tree, part of the hand. What same word fits both these definitions? Conferring palm. 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 Palm, it is. Die, spoon! This anagram looks lethal, but you can rearrange the letters to name what ancient Greek sea god associated with the Roman god Neptune. Conferring Poseidon. Poseidon. Yep. It's Poseidon. You are right. Tories, scalawags, mugwumps. Americans who did not favor independence in 1776 called themselves loyalists, but their enemies gave them which of these nicknames? Conferring. Tories. 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 Okay. Tories, final answer. Yeah. Farming looks easy when you're a thousand miles from the blank field. You can complete this observation from one U.S. president by adding what crop that Native Americans called maize. Conferring corn. Corn. Corn is right, Bishop Ireton. Nice job. 200 points. Loudoun Valley, here's your opening round. Slow attempt down. You should attempt to find in this phrase the last name of what Scotsman who developed the first practical steam engine? Conferring, I think it's Watt. Is that your answer? I think it's Watt. Final answer, Watt. Yeah, that's it. You're right. 
a carton to fight with gloves. What same three-letter word fits both these definitions? Conferring box. Yes. Final answer, box. Yes. yes. Trap no hen. Instead of hunting chickens, please rearrange the letters in this phrase to name what famous Greek temple situated on the Acropolis in Athens. Conferring Parthenon. No, it's Pantheon. Final answer, that Pantheon. Point. It's Parthenon. Oh my goodness. Theocracy, plutocracy, autocracy. Which of these terms refers to a community governed by religious beliefs and the clergy? Conferring. Conferring theocracy. Theocracy. Yes. Of eternal importance like blank. To complete this phrase from a Sinclair Lewis novel, name what sport whose Hall of Fame is at Cooperstown in New York. Conferring basketball. In, is or hockey. Sure. The answer is baseball in very beautiful Cooperstown, New York. Guys, nice job this round, 160 points. And that's the end of the opening round. Picture perfect round next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. All right, let's launch into this picture perfect round where answers are worth 20 points up or down. 10 points off if you pass. Team one, you are up. Ben, Kira, and Eddie from Einstein. Here's your first picture. This is a section of Monoceros, a constellation which represents what mythical one-horned animal? The Minotaur. Sorry. And your answer Final is? Final answer, unicorn? Yeah, it's a unicorn. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Conferring, what's the square root of 625? And 25. 25. 25. You've got it. This poster condemning the decision in the 1857 Dred Scott case typified Northern indignation at the opinion handed down by what Chief Justice? Final answer, Taney. Yeah, you've got it. We pronounce it Tawny, but you are absolutely right, Einstein. You've got a score of 260 points. Bishop Ireton, it is your chance to play the picture perfect round. Daniel Newman, Dallas, here we go. Once the home of a small mollusk, this type of seashell is named for what bird that traditionally represents peace? Conferring. Uh, dove. Dove, final answer. Yes. This expression equals the log of what number, giving your answer as an integer? Conferring. No idea. Not sure. Answer? Um, go with 11, final answer. Yeah, it's 48. This picture depicts the 1779 battle in which Hawaiian natives killed what English explorer, the first European to reach Hawaii? Conferring. Cook. I agree. Cook, final answer. Yes, Captain Cook. Very nice job. Bishop Ireton, 220 points. And now, Loudoun Valley, you're up. Clay, Sarah, Charlie, here we go. George Bellows painted three generations of his family here, titling the work Eleanor, Jean, and what other name shared by Tolstoy's title character, Ms. Karenina? I'm trying. Charlie, do you need Tolstoy? Sure, I have no idea. Answer? Smith. In? Conferring Smith. <laughs> the answer is Anna, Anna Karenina. What is the value of X? Conferring negative two. Final answer, negative two. Yeah, that's it. The 1858 placement of the first telegraphic Atlantic cable, as indicated by this map, was due to the efforts of what wealthy American entrepreneur? Conferring Charlie, was it Edison? I... Or was it... Um... I need an answer, please. 
Yeah. That's what the final answer is Madison. Nah, it was Cyrus Field. Loudon Valley, you've got a score of 140 points. And that is it for the Picture Perfect Round. In just a minute, we'll learn more about our amazing students and dive into the packet round. But first, here's something you might want to know. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know that garden slugs will produce 27,000 teeth over a lifetime? Apparently, it's easier to grow new teeth than to go to a dentist. Slugs don't use their teeth to chew their food. Instead, they use them like a saw to cut through vegetation. Luckily for us, slugs don't bite people. I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. It is halftime, which means the packet round. As you know, in this round, correct answers are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer, Zippo. And if you get everyone right, there's a 25-point bonus. Einstein High School, you're up. Ben, Kira, and Eddie. Can't wait to hear you answer these questions, but before we start, we really want to know more about you. And Ben, you're the captain, so we'll start with you. Great to see you. What are you up to these days? I am still a violin player in the orchestra, but this year I've also joined the cross-country team. How's that going? Well, the season already ended before we've come here, so I guess it went pretty well. All right. Well, it's good to see you again. Uh, Kira, hi. What are you up to? i part of the IB program, and I also am preparing for the softball season in the spring. How many years have you played softball? Uh, since I was 10, I think. All right. So you're good. I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll say it. You're probably pretty good. And finally, Edward, tell us about yourself. I've been, you know, having fun and trying to stay fit. What's your favorite subject? History. History. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that will help you here, undoubtedly. And now, of course, I can ask you the questions. Here's the first one. In some versions of Sleeping Beauty, the princess has what name linked to Borealis in the scientific name of the Northern Lights? Aurora. Aurora, it is. According to Greek myth, after a flood wiped out most of mankind, the only two survivors recreated humanity by tossing what objects that can be igneous or sedimentary? Stones. You're right, it's stones. Here's your science question. Axon, allele, ganglion. Which of these is the projecting portion of a nerve cell that carries a nerve impulse away from a nerve cell body? Conferring axon? Yes, it's axon. Yes, it yeah. is. The first European to sail through the treacherous straits at the tip of South America was what Portuguese explorer for whom the straits are now named? Magellan. Yes. Magellan, yes. When the monster Grendel was injured, his equally monstrous mother went on the attack in what medieval Anglo-Saxon epic? Beowulf. Yes. Here's your math question. Solve for X. Uh, conferring 11? No, it's, it, wait. Yeah, it's 11. It is 11. Nicely done. The phrase shadow in the White House was applied to the reclusive wife of what 14th president? Confirming Franklin Pierce. Pierce. It was Franklin Pierce. And you know what that means. You've got a 25 point bonus. Hit every one of them in a score of 425 points. Really well done. All right, time to meet Bishop Ireton High School. We start with the captain, of course. Daniel, tell us about yourself. I'm doing engineering as an elective at my high school. Wonderful. And what jazzes you about engineering? It's really fun 3D printing things and learning how to make models that could be useful in industries that are essential to today's society. Wow, that's awesome. Well, it's great to have you here. And hello, Newman. What are you up to? I, I'm not really up to any, uh, I guess, homework, really. <laughs> homework, buried in homework. Do you have a favorite subject that you might enjoy doing homework in? I guess um, history would be my favorite subject. All right. Well, it's great to see you. And hello, Dallas. What should we know about you? I'd say my favorite school subjects are probably math and science. Yeah, math and science is awesome. What do you like best about it? Probably like physics and biology and various things in math. All right, well, it's really great to have you here. And now we finally get to ask you questions. Here we go, Bishop Ireton. A freed slave named Peter Salem can be seen in John Trumbull's painting of what revolutionary war battle that took place in 1775 on a hill near Boston? Conferring. Uh, Bunker Hill. Bunker Hill, final answer. 
Yeah, Bunker Hill. Though the UN had been established in 1945, it took no action five years later when China forcibly annexed what neighboring country associated with the Dalai Lama? Conferring Tibet. Tibet. Tibet, finally. Tibet. Yeah, it's Tibet. Here's your science question. Iron pyrite, mercuric oxide, copper sulfate. In addition to striking flints, early Native Americans made fire using what mineral, sometimes called fool's gold? Conferring. Um, iron pyrite. Yes. Iron I pyrite, final it. answer. Well done. Dogs may be man's best friend, but what Russian scientist was seeking information, not companionship, in his experiments with dogs and conditioned reflexes? Conferring. Pavlov. Pavlov, final answer. Yes. Lord Byron's comment that Cervantes laughed Spain's chivalry away referred to the gentle humor in what Cervantes' book about an idealistic knight? Conferring. Um, I don't know. It's the one with the windmills. Uh, uh, I'm, it's, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'll need an answer. Uh, think fast. No. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> I got to uh, catch you down. Uh, uh, I, and three, two, one. Oh my nothing. gosh. Don Quixote. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Newman. Well, here's the math question. How many degrees are there in angle X if lines AB and CD are parallel? Conferring, would that be 60? Or no, 60, 150. 150. 150. Would that be 150? 150. I don't 150? know. 150 it is. What 29th president, who was the first to hire speech writers, definitely needed their help when he was called upon to explain the Teapot Dome scandal? Conferring. Harding. Harding. Um, Harding, final answer? Yes, it was Harding. Nice job, and you almost got Don Quixote, Newman. You were so close. A score of 340 points. Now let's meet Team 3 from Loudoun Valley High School. Clay, you're the captain, so of course we're starting with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I love having my position as Vice President of Community Service and my student council. Wow, and tell me about being Vice President of Community <laughs> Service and what it entails. So right now our project is donating toys for Toys for Tots. And then there's also a built-in movie night where we get to watch Home Alone at the high school. <laughs> That's awesome. It's great to see you, Clay. And Sarah, what jazzes you at school these days? I'm in Color Guard and I'm in uh, programming competitions. Great to have you with us. And now last but not least, hello, Charlie. Tell us what's going on. Right now, I'm currently in my basement right now. It usually be biking or... Um, I'd probably be playing Satara because I love geography. Or I'd be probably just looking at news articles. Kind of lame, but that's what I do. No, not lame at all. And I'm right with you. Love to bike, love geography. I'm mad in love with maps. You can learn so much about geopolitics by just looking at a map. And it's great to meet you, Charlie. Now I get to ask those questions. Here's the first one. Loudon Valley. Male bees are known by what term that also applies to unmanned aerial vehicles like the Reaper and Predator? Conferring drone. Yes. Final answer, drone. Yes. yes. The Unheard is a memoir by a deaf member of what non-military American corps set up by President Kennedy to serve in third world countries? Peace. Final yes. answer, yes. Peace Corps. Peace. Yes. Here's your science question. Phototropism, photosynthesis, autoprotolysis. Which of these terms refers to the response of a plant to the stimulus of light? Confirm yes, yes, it is phototropism. In 2010, a group of trapped Chilean miners were successfully brought to the surface in a capsule named for what mythical bird reborn from its own ashes? Conferring Phoenix. Yes. Conferring, yes. Final answer, Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix it is. Yeah. Although Harper Lee's best known novel is set in Alabama, its title refers to killing what Arkansas state bird? Conferring Mockingbird. Mockingbird. Yeah, here's your math question. Which of these numbers is a multiple of seven? Conferring 634. 630. Need an answer? 634. And your answer is? Final answer, 630. Yeah, 630. That is absolutely correct. 
a veteran of many Civil War battles, what 19th president had to fight a major political battle to win the disputed election of 1876? Conferring Hayes. Answer? Is that answer Hayes. I am so glad you stayed with Hayes because you, Loudoun Valley, have a 25 point bonus and a score of 305 points. And that is the packet round. Next, the sparks will start to fly as we enter the lightning round. So stay with us. Okay, the lightning round. In this round, you've got 45 seconds to answer up to 10 questions. They're worth 20 points up or down. No penalty if you pass. Einstein, you're up first. Ben, Kira, Edward, here we go. All answers begin with the letter A, as in apple. In three, two, one. This is South America's longest river. Amazon. Yes, this burrowing mammal is the first animal in the dictionary. Hard fork. Yes, this element's chemical symbol is AR. Aragon. Argon. No. This no. ancient Greek Argon. wrote comedies like The Birds. Pass. Aristophanes. This is the two-word scientific name for minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. Absolute zero. Yes, this legendary Roman slave removed a thorn from a lion's paw. Pass. Androcles. He found a magic lamp in the Arabian night stories. Aladdin. Yeah, this is the smallest and northernmost of the world's oceans. Arctic. Yes, this is the... Let me finish the question. This is the term for a group of islands such as the Philippines. The answer is archipelago. Einstein, nice job, 505 points. Okay, Bishop Ireton, it is your chance to play the lightning round. Daniel, Newman, Dallas, here we go. All answers begin with the letter A, as in apple. In three, two, one. The Centers for Disease Control is based in this southern city. Atlanta. Yes, this is one of the freedoms guaranteed by the First Amendment. Assembly. Yes, Nineveh was the capital of this ancient empire. Assyria. Yes, he was the fifth century king of the Hun. Assyria. Hunt. Fifth century. Assyria. Yes, uh, the fifth century king of the Huns. Attila. Yes, this chemical symbol of this element is SB. Pat. Antimony. Pat. Thousands of these small rocky objects orbit the sun. Asteroid. Yes, this is the southernmost and coldest continent. Antarctica. Yes, this term describes a substance that can react as an acid and a base. Ah, uh, and the answer is amphoteric. I tell you what, Bishop Ireton, you are like rocking those questions. Fabulous job, 460 points. All right, now it's time for team three from Loudoun Valley High School. Clay, Sarah, Charlie, here we go. All answers will begin with the letter A, as in alpha. In three, two, one. Jason Momoa starred as this superhero. Aquaman. Yes, this word describes the legendary snowman of the Himalayas. Skip. Abominable. NH3 is the formula for this colorless pungent gas. Ammonia. Yes, this is a large constricting snake of South America. Anaconda. Yes, this is the capital city of New York State. Albany. Yes, Albany. this scientist is associated with the number 6.02 times 1023. Avogadro. Yeah, malaria is often carried by this genus mosquito. Pass. Anopheles. Luanda is the capital of this city of this African country. Angola. It was Angola. Fabulous job. Loudoun Valley. Really nice round. 425 points. All right, the judges are going over the scores, and in just a minute, we will let you know who's coming back for the playoffs. But before that, we would love you to consider giving back to your community like some of our really cool students. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Students are getting involved in their communities in many important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. I'm Corey Sayers. I'm a junior at West Springfield High School, and I help run Scouting for Food which is where Boy Scouts from like Troop 150 and many other troops collect food from the neighborhoods. We take it to shelters and we stack them to the ceiling. Uh, this past year, we collected with our troop about six and a half thousand pounds of food. Uh, I love seeing those shelves filled and I'm sure the people that work there do as well. It feeds them in like hard months during winter where they have a lot more people coming in. 
And I personally, I feel so thankful for the opportunity because I can give back to my community that has helped raise me. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. The scores are now official. First congratulation goes to our team from Loudoun Valley High School, Clay, Sarah, and Charlie, 425 points. And congratulations to our team from Bishop Ireton and Alexandria, Daniel, Newman, Dallas, 460 points. And coming back for the playoffs, Einstein High School from Kensington, Ben, Kira, and Edward, 505 points. Great game. Let's hear it for our awesome teams and for you, our pretty awesome viewers. Really happy you could join us and match wits with our students. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. At MITRE, we're committed to solving some of our biggest challenges in national security, cyber, aviation, and health. And our dedication to service starts at home, working to fight hunger, serving people in need, protecting public health, and supporting our civic institutions. This is serving the public. This is MITRE, solving problems for a safer world. Please join us next time when we've got Centerville Wheaton and Fairfax High Schools competing right here on It's Academic. I'm Hillary Howard. See you then. Bye, everybody. I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference.